Okay, so this is the first video blog post uh, since I think there is too much to say and just words and it's gonna take a while for me to write all the things so might as well just make a video blog post this time and see how it works out. Um, so today's video blog post is about event listeners and the event dispatcher and Coco Studio X and the event dispatcher is actually a new feature introduced roughly around version 3.0 beta 2 or something and what it basically is is that it takes place uh, it takes over the roles of uh, the notification center if you're if you were familiar with uh, CC notification center as well as the touch dispatcher and the event dispatcher in general for input accelerometer or whatever um, so what we're going to be focusing on today is actually the uh, NS notification or CC notification center apart and how you can use the event new event dispatcher uh, to take place of the old um, notification center because I think it wasn't straightforward uh, how that is done uh, as you can see this is the result of the tutorial we're gonna reach a stage where we just have notification center add an <clears throat> add an observer the, the observer is this this object uh, it's gonna observe this notification and it's gonna call this lambda function which is defined previously here uh, so let's get to it first things first uh, you can access the event dispatcher through get event dispatcher or you can use director uh, get instance and then get event dispatcher uh, both ways are fine this is more verbose, so I guess uh, the guys had this get event dispatcher shortcut. Personally, I, rec I suggest doing it this way, and I love doing it this way, which is just hash define uh, the event dispatcher as global event dispatcher uh, for consistency. In any case, um, uh, G, uh, global event dispatcher has the following functions you can add an event listener with fixed priority so you can listen to any event uh, with a fixed priority which means um, I'm not 100% certain what it means but it's more like if you give a priority of minus one then this event will uh, be sent to that node before uh, another node that is registered under zero or one or greater than this node so it goes uh, as, as ascending from least to greatest the second function is add with scene graph priority which is how they are rendered in the scene graph so the node that is uh, up front like the first one you see is probably gonna get the last event I think uh, because it makes sense that the first node added to be called first but I could be wrong I mean, um, and the last one which which is supposed to be the most convenient one is actually evil I would suggest against using this at all costs um, because it's really I, sh I really shot myself in the foot when I use this which is adding a custom event with a name so for example the name is um, on user login notification so when the user logged in and the notification is fired we're gonna call backend handler it looks it looks tempting to use it that way and that's what I used first but notice that we are not associating this observer with any specific object like we're doing here we are associating with this but here we're not associating it with anything so what happens when this object gets the alloc and backend handler is called and inside the handler we're accessing this and this goes away 
So we have to remove this backend handler when this goes away, uh, this, uh, this object. Um, so that's the drawback of using this. Of course, th this, uh, this way. Uh, of course, you can also do an um, event listener custom uh, pointer and do listener because, as you can see, it returns a event listener object. So once you hold a pointer to this listener, then you have to go to implement the destructor of this object. And in the destructor, you would say something like uh, event dispatcher, remove event listener, and you would send the listener. But that's tedious. I mean, we don't want to take care of that. We want this to be taken care of uh, for us, right? So the way we do that is actually, let me write it in its most verbose form. Uh, we do a event listener custom um, object, call it listener, and it equals event listener custom create and we do it exactly the way we did it here. So now instead of calling the dispatcher and adding a custom event directly, we create a, cust a listener object. And then once we do that, we do event dispatcher, add event listener with scene graph priority, and we send the listener as well as this object. The cool thing about this is we coupled or we coupled or as they say like tied the listener with this object so what does this mean well this means that um, let's go to the destructor of node and see what we have here as you can see here in the node implementation of cocos uh, event dispatcher is actually called for us and it calls remove event listener for target so any event listener, event listeners with an S. So any ev events that we register coupled with this object are going to get removed for us anyways by the node superclass. So by doing it this way, um, we're safe and this, event, this listener will get removed when this object goes away. Uh, so this two-liner is a bit too much to write. Uh, instead, we're going to define a, uh, a macro, which I use in Objective-C as well, uh, which basically takes a target, a notification string, and a handler, which is the block of code. Um, and it's defined as all these things together. And it makes it convenient to add notification observers, just like that. Uh, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys found it useful and be sure to look out for more.